screen connects people, strangers to each other. We were drawn together by a sense of adventure and the prospect of one unforgettable route. Leaving from Coagama Lake, we would paddle Kimball until we were met with the infamous Golden Staircase Portage. Making our way through Rockaway to Dividing Lake, we would eventually meet with the upper portions of the Hollow River in Algonquin Park. Tracing the river south, it would take us to Cross Corner Lake and an unknown, undocumented stretch of river. As far as we knew, this paddle down the upper hollow would be the first descent. Early on, it became evident this expedition was going to be challenging. Pushing our way up a narrow Kimball Creek, we knew we were strangers no more, bonded by canoe, adventure, and anticipation, we forged onwards to the Golden Staircase. Oh yeah, up to it. Ascending over 100 meters through a steep ravine, this lengthy portage is a deterrent to many canoeists. But with our gaze firmly affixed on the upper hollow, we knew greater challenges still awaited and pressed onwards to Rockaway Lake. Eager, excited, energized, we were ready to cross over the knolls and reach the upper hollow. Under sunny skies, we departed Rockaway, and with a celebratory shot, we were ready. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers! Downhill from here, baby. Maybe too eager. Bypassing a portage, we soon found ourselves waist deep in bog. But we sought adventure, and a little slog before we reached open river was in a way, just what we needed. Besides, who actually enjoys portaging? Well, we've entered the hollow probably, what, maybe about an hour ago. We bushwhacked through a part of a portage to get to the start of the section where the hollow enters. And it's been quite uh, quite scenic here. It actually uh, reminds us a lot, a lot of uh, the Woodland Caribou. There's a lot of rock, uh, cliffs, 
and uh, black spruce. So it's, it looks, looks and actually feels very wild here. It's beautiful. Lots of black flies, but we're definitely enjoying it. Calm. Still. Quiet. The upper hollow was a solitude seeker's paradise. Okay, we're gonna bring it right over. No, we're gonna bring it. Take a nice slope. We're gonna avoid that rock on the left. See that rock right on the left there? Seeking to avoid another portage, we knowingly paddled past the landing and made our way down what appeared to be a free flowing channel. We've uh, run out of water here on the hollow. Yeah. We were fools. Was this a fool's adventure? Were we so blinded by a desire to explore, to push boundaries, avoid the easy way out? It's not that we avoided the portage, but were the shallow waters a hint of what was to come? Had we doomed ourselves, committed to a river of rocks and logs, and no water? Well. We were moving, barely, slowly making our way to Cross Corner Lake, inch by inch, minute by minute. Would we find open water? <laughs> Judgment Day. the dawn of what would make or break the trip. We're on the western fringes of Algonquin Provincial Park, and our exit way today is probably one of the first ever descents of the Upper Hollow River. What makes this interesting is that it could very well be a first descent of this river, and also there's about 60 meters worth of drops over 800 meters, and we don't know if there's a portage trail at all. To our knowledge, nothing exists. So it could get very interesting, uh, but we're prepared and we're going to see what the day brings us. Thinking about being the first to descend the Hollow River, I, uh, I get really excited. I have no idea what to expect. I don't know if we're going to be walking around, if we're going to be going down the water, if we'll be out of the canoe, in the canoe, under the canoe. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so I'm excited. The 60 meter drop looks maybe terrifying, but maybe not. We'll see. Anticipation and excitement. Today was a day of exploration. We were explorers. Disappointing? Perhaps. But we were still about to descend into a river of uncertainties. It was evident someone had tried to descend the upper hollow. But did they succeed? Or did they turn tail and head back? We'd know soon enough. Some excitement, a reprieve from the portage and shallow waters that have marred the trip so far. Undocumented and unknown, our spirits were high as we pushed downstream. So we're 
got uh, a little bit of a divide in the river and we're on an island right now and we kind of did some white water just down a narrow corridor but we had to stop because if there was a massive drop and as you can see here in the background you might not be able to see it but it drops down about 20 feet and it c continues dropping down this this really narrow uh, canyon so obviously we can't uh, paddle anymore so now it's pretty much bushwhacking right down to the end but man other than the bugs the scenery here is amazing it's uh, it's really wild and it's you kind of really feel the wildness to this place Well, we were portaging, bushwhacking actually. The 60 meter drop coursed through an impressive canyon, unrunnable in any boat. My moment of manhood. Yeah, okay, eh? As we forged ahead, it was becoming more and more evident that other adventurers had likely turned around. Pestered by swarms of black flies, we took pause in the woods. There's no portage anymore. There's a series of nice waterfalls and unrunnable rapids through this slot canyon behind us, but there's no portage trail and we're bush crashing. That day wore on and 800 meters slowly became two kilometers. We still hadn't found calmer waters, only bush, bugs, and rocks. But with time, everything changes. And by midday, we finally cleared the canyon and found waters deep enough for a paddle. Spirits were high, but the elation didn't last long. We were beginning to realize why the upper hollow remained undocumented to paddlers. It was simply a dry boneyard. The hollow's only saving grace was a few sections of white water. eventually found deeper waters. We had successfully descended the upper hollow, and while not practical, it was possible. We had achieved what we set out to do, document the river's first ascent. As we paddled on, one thing became clear, we would be back. But that's a tale for another time.